Britain's Digital Railway. So Dan, when there's like a problem on the railway track, or there's a leak in a tunnel, or if the signals have got frozen up in winter, how do you reckon they fix them? I'd put my money on a team of trained robots sent out at night on drones. Might make a cool scene in a movie, right? Unleash the drones. It's going to be a pretty big job, though. With over 20,000 miles of railway track, you're going to need a lot of robots. Well, drones are used sometimes to help spot faults, but there isn't an army of robots. Bex is right that it's a very big job to maintain and repair the tracks. When track isn't as it should be, speed limits may need to be imposed, or part of the line might get closed, and that means delays. Track maintenance is hard work, with engineers often having to work at night or weekends repairing tracks. In the past, the work was very manual, with engineers using jacks, spanners and shovels. And when something heavy was involved, like moving sections of tracks, teams with dozens of men would be needed. Today, a lot of heavy maintenance is automated, using special trains, which reduce the need for railway workers to be on the track while the work takes place. It's not just more efficient, but safer too. Where rails and sleepers need to be replaced, engineers use a track renewal train. These 800-meter trains can replace existing rails and sleepers with high-performing new ones. Moving along the track that needs replacing, the front part of the train runs on the old rails, while the rear runs on the new rail that has been installed. The train carries all the new rails and sleepers that it needs. Rail is carried on board parallel to the track being replaced, but sleepers have to be stored specially to ensure the train remains engaged and need turning around before laid. A special crane on the train rotates them through 90 degrees whilst moving them from a delivery wagon to the installation mechanisms. It can also load the old sleepers onto the empty wagons. As a track renewal train doesn't need to use the neighbouring tracks, these lines can remain open whilst maintenance is being done, allowing other trains to run. So I suppose all this maintenance is a bit like how we keep ourselves healthy. So as well as getting broken bits fixed, there's jobs we do every day to keep things running smoothly, like maybe cleaning our teeth or having a wash. Bex is right. As well as repair jobs, such as changing broken rails and damaged sleepers, there's lots of regular maintenance taking place all the time. Lubricating and adjusting switches, tightening loose track components, grinding the rail surface that train wheels run on to leave a clean surface for a smoother ride as well as cleaning and replacing the ballast. Check it out. Ballast is the hard rock used under and around the track that helps keep it straight and level and make sure it doesn't move around. You can see why it's important to keep ballast in great condition and that's why there are special ballast cleaner trains. These half a mile long trains remove the existing ballast from around the track and sleepers, screen it to remove any poor quality ballast that can no longer be used and feed the waste ballast by conveyors to empty wagons at the back of the train. Ballast that can be reused is cleaned and then relayed along with new ballast that may be needed. It's then tampered down to the right shape and consistency to keep the track stable. Ballast cleaner trains are perfect for the job! Anyway, your robot army would just rust when it got cold and wet. It's a good point. Heat and cold can make metal buckle, and metal is what the track is made of. Buckling tracks aren't safe for trains. Engineers get around this by painting parts of the rails white in summer to prevent them expanding and causing the rail to buckle and attach heaters to points in winter to prevent ice forming. There are even special cold weather vehicles which are fitted with heating equipment to quickly de-ice tracks. All right, ballast cleaner trains win, eh? I've just thought of another cool movie, Ballast Cleaners versus the Robot Army. Britain's Digital Railway, with support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at bunkidslive.com slash railway.